Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a Hobby Lobby clearance haul. I stopped in just to see what they had. I was really looking for planner supplies, but what I walked out with was new wall decor, new wall, new pictures, I guess you could say. Um, so they did have a lot of house decor at 75% off wasn't my colors, wasn't my style per se, but I did find some, some pictures so I can redo a couple of areas in my house. So here are, here's the breakdown. I saved at 72% off retail value for everything that I will share with you was $206.34, paid to $57.58 for a savings of $148.76. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. So um, I, I did save it 75% off, but I think there's probably two items that weren't 75% off and then six items that were 90% off. So first off, I got some of these little rings, book rings. They're a, an inch and an, an inch. 1.18 inch it's a 12 pack 249 I, I do know i can get these at the dollar tree however they are bigger and i needed like a one inch ring so two uh 249 got those i saw these and i picked these up these are good for inserts into a like a traveler's journal although these aren't traveler journal size i did go ahead and pick these up they were 5.99 for a dollar of 49 so got those and then in the um christmas clearance section they had a ton of um bottle brush trees lord knows i don't need any more of those but i i had noted that i wanted more of the stocking holders these because i do like to use these for things other than stockings let's see if i can turn y'all let's see if you can see if i can point right let's see right there that little pot is actually hanging from that shelf there with a stocking holder. These are weighted and they are awesome for hanging things off of. I have an armoire when you walk into my house. So if I wanted to hang like a macrame, right now I have a wooden Christmas tree hanging from that. I can use these for that and they work amazing. So I did pick up six of these. These are good for the pork if you have something you want to hang um you know to dangle over the edge these are great for that and so i did kind of go a little ham on purchasing it purchasing them but they are great they are you know of course they're weighted and they just sit perfect on a shelf so that you can um you know, y'all know what they look like. You can hang hang something off of that. So I got six of those. They were $11.99, so $1.20. That is amazing price. The ones that I have, I picked up at, at Dirt Cheap, and uh, they were Target brand. So I was glad to get some more. I, I, I wish this wasn't there. The ones I have are just the the black, but I, I could paint that if I wanted to. So we'll see. We'll see if it if it bothers me. I can always paint it black or white, or I can just keep it just the same. So um, they had a ton of uh, pictures, a whole wall full of all different kinds of themes of pictures. So I picked up two for the coffee bar. 
I don't drink coffee. I, I do have a coffee bar more, more for like chai tea, hot chocolate, but my granddaughter enjoys a coffee. So we have this one. It says 92% coffee, 8% dry shampoo. It was $2.24, originally $8.99. So a good filler for that wall that I have there. And this one, it says, all things are possible with coffee and a cute outfit. So I picked this one up as well. It was $2.99, originally $11.99. So these will be great to replace some pictures that I have there that I've had for several years. What I usually, or I feel like the pictures that I have there now were ones that I literally printed off of the internet on regular coffee paper and framed using a black Dollar Tree frame. Nothing wrong with doing that, but I thought maybe I could do a little updating. And those were really, you know, cheap, reasonable price that I thought I would just do a little bit of updating there. Next off, um, for my porch this past spring, summer, I did like a yellow theme which was um, bumblebees and lemons. And I found two really cute lemon pitchers that, that could go out there. My porch is covered, not enclosed. So they, they're not going to last forever, but they are super cute. This one is what drew me in. She is precious. Oh my gosh. I love the colors, the orange and the yellow and the green so stinking cute. She is going to be precious out there. $4.49 for $17.99. Or, well, $17.99 for $4.49. So cute. This is my favorite. Cute, cute. So I got that. And then uh, just to add to that theme, I found this one. Live Life with Zest. So this is another cute one. It is, it was $19.99 for $4.99. So got that. And I have a big yellow wreath that I can use that I picked up at the thrift store. So some new things for the porch. I usually refresh my porch every spring and uh, this year will be no different. So got those. And then the rest of this is things for the restroom. Um, I'm excited. Uh, the restroom, I hate my restroom. Um, that, that room was the first room that we redid when we moved into this house. We have one restroom and I mean, we had to get in there and get out because, you know, if we don't have a restroom, nobody can go to the rest, nobody can go potty, nobody can shower, just a mess if the bathroom's out. Of and so that restroom did not get done to the best of our ability. It didn't. And I, I do not like the restroom. I've never been happy with the restroom since the day we did it. So with all that being said, I do try to make the best of it because it's the only restroom I have and I don't have the ability to redo it, but I can use paint and cute decor and all the things just to try to uh, camouflage all the things that I don't like about it. So, I got new wall art for in there. Here's the first one. It was $11.99 for a $2.99. Just a cute filler, something to add. Here's this one. I would use this one above the toilet. I love it. I love the, like... I don't, I don't know if you would call that subway tile, but it's cute. I do have tile like this in my kitchen that I, I put just the pill and stick. $7.49. It was originally $29.99. Got that. Next, I have a, um, the bathroom doesn't even have cabinets. So I, I found cabinets like three tier or three shelf three shelf, um, three shelves, two, two sets of three shelves, a uh, little 
shelving unit. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So above that is a pretty large blank space. So with this one and then these next four, I think I can make a pretty collage wall with these items. Here is this. And I, you'll see the theme is like greens. This was $374, originally $14.99. Here's another one. I love that. $5.99, originally $23.99. And then this one, $3.99, originally $15.99. So I did try to use some different textures, different paint techniques, if you will, I guess, um, to, to, to gather up the different pictures that I chose. And then last but not least is this one. I thought it was a pretty as well. $7.49, which means this was $29.99. I couldn't find the price on it, but I guess somebody knew how much it was. I guess because it's got this extra frame because it didn't look like it was a $7.49. It doesn't look like a $29.99 price point picture, but maybe because it's got the wooden frame on it. I don't know, but it is, I don't know if y'all can see or not, but it is like oil like an oil painting but it's not because that's like I don't know anyway so that's what I got I, I want to get that done that'll be a while from now uh, I got some other projects to do before I do that one uh, it, it just needs a little touch up painting and the baseboards need to be re repainted and um, it it's probably would be a pretty quick flip but I don't think I'm going to get to it right now. I got some other things that I, I want to work on. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is my haul. Like I say, for everything that I just shared with you, I paid $57.58. So I'm excited for my finds. If you have enjoyed this haul, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.